hello and welcome back to this channel so in today's tutorial we're gonna learn how to paint this namibian desert landscape using pixel brushes in adobe fresco so let's just get started a little bit of background this is a painting that i did a long time ago with gouache you can find the painting in my instagram account that is at print me some color i do a lot of art i use watercolor and gouache primarily and you can see all my paintings if you go and check out my instagram account but this was done a really long time ago and i thought why not make this in fresco because i just want to show you guys that you can create digital artwork that looks really well as compared to a traditional artwork and this comes from an artist who uses both traditional and digital media I hear this a lot that if you're a digital artist, you're not a real artist, but that's not true at all. I think that digital art is as beautiful as traditional art. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and paint these things with our digital brushes, shall we? I'm going to click on create new. And for this one, I'm just using a current screen size. I have a sketch and a color palette for you guys. So go ahead and download it from the link in the description box below. Uh, once you have downloaded it, go ahead and bring it into Fresco. There's images, photos or files, wherever you have it and bit it, bring it in. The image might be a little smaller, so a sketch. So go ahead and make sure that it stretches all the way to the ends of the artboard and click on done. We're going to go into levels, make this into multiply so that the background kind of disappears and reduce the opacity to as low or as high as you want. I'm just going to keep it at a higher level here so that you guys can see the sketch when I'm trying to illustrate. Okay, now all your colors are here. So if you have turned the automatically bring the colors option on, you should be able to see them under your recents right here. If you don't, make sure you go here, app settings, auto create color palette should be turned on. And only after that, bring in your image and you'll get it. So I'm going to delete off the excess images that I have, delete palette. And this is the only one I need. Actually, I don't need all these colors. I just need the bottom ones, but you know what? Okay. If you want to do the traditional method, you can always go ahead and click and hold that color and draw like that. Doesn't matter which brush you're on and it'll automatically select that color. And then you can hide it. Let's hide the color palette as well. And if you go here, you'll see the four colors that I chose. Okay, so let's just get started. So the main thing about this painting is the sky and how absolutely gorgeous it is so we're going to come to the sky in the end because i don't want to mess up the sky and feel discouraged later on to draw the rest of the things okay so first we're going to do the sand dunes so this is based off a photograph actually two or three photographs i edited a little bit from the main photograph uh, something that i chose i unfortunately don't have the link or i don't remember where i got it from because it was a really long time ago um we're just going to assume that we have the photograph right in our eyes and um, the painting that I drew is going to be our reference image. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and choose one of the colors that I have. The lighter ones that is this one. And then let's go into our brushes. Let's go to painting and choose canvas brush flat. Let's check it out. Up, oh, hidden layer, new layer. Okay. This looks good. You can adjust the size here to anything that you want. Maybe let's make it a little smaller. So this depends on what is comfortable for you. So go ahead and do that. You can also choose a very normal brush because you see you're not getting nice edges here. Two finger to undo. Okay. I think the better option would be to go into ink and then choosing Belgian comics because it has a very sharp refined edge. So it makes sure that you don't have, you know, raggedy edges. So you can choose any size that you want. I'm just going to keep it at whatever is there. Let's hundreds. You can click and hold and type in whatever you want or just go up and down like this uh, yeah i'll just keep it around 120 or something just to define my edges here like that traditionally maybe i would have used a fill tool but since i'm being nice i'm just going to increase the size and draw it in so now let's go ahead and draw the top part so plus so that i don't mess with this one here but i want this layer below so you can click and hold and bring down or you can just go to the layer below and click on plus to get that extra layer. So now go back to your brush and let's go ahead and draw this one here. Make sure you choose the other color that you had and uh, reduce the size to get some nice crispy lines. I'm going to reduce the sketch size and 
sketch opacity because it's kind of messing with my yeah ability to draw nice mountains here that's good and you can actually increase the size and color it in you could have actually made this different layers and then it would have been easier to probably blend things but i want to show you how to use the mixer brushes or you know normal blending techniques so i'm going to draw, draw this huge bit on this particular layer like that okay that looks good we have one more bit right here so go ahead and go back to the layer below plus because it's behind this as you can see and again reduce the size and let's draw this now it's time to fill in the darker color so i'm going to go ahead and choose the darker color that i have and i want to fill it up here so this one has to be above this layer you can make it a little darker i'm just going to uncheck the sketch to see if it's okay it's actually not that bad so don't worry too much about it and i'm going to fill in the blacks because then it'll be so much more easier to figure out <laughs> what goes where so Let's start with here. So this is going to be here. So let's start with the bottommost layer plus we're going to put the black there. So let's go ahead and choose black or you can also choose one of the darker colors, the same maroon. So let's make it really dark right here. Okay. Or choose black if you don't want to mess with all of that. And now one step skip and then we're going to put this one. Make sure the top is all right. Here as well, the sand dunes are a bit round and in the bottom you don't have to worry because you already have that nice little layer. And I think this is in the same layer, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know if you can hear it. The pigeon decided it's time to call all its mates. And next again, one up over here. And this is below this, so this is going to be over here. Oh no, we want this up here, right? So this has to go up. But there you go, clear layer, and I'm going to draw this properly. And obviously here. Please don't leave any white spaces like you saw right there. And now is this time to uncheck the sketch. Oh wait, no, we have to keep this here. We want the sketch for something else now. Okay, so you see this sand dune here. We have to make sure that that is visible because now if I uncheck the sketch, it just merges in, right? So you're gonna make sure that we have some darker areas right here so that it's visible and looks pretty nice, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and choose one of the darker colors that I have. I'll just put it over here and see, yeah, that looks perfect. So what we're going to do is we're gonna use some mixy mixy brushes or mixer brushes and see if that's going to work for us okay mixer brushes and i think i'm going to choose pastel mixer so there's a mountain here like that i'm going to click on new layer here just to show you guys oh let me make a thing here so oh that's big okay that's better so there's going to be a mountain here like that right and then there's going to be one which goes like this. The dune goes like that. And then uh, this one over there. And I guess one goes like that, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. So we have all that. And so we need color over here as well, here as well, and a bit over here as well, just to show all those things. Okay. So I'm going to put it on top of everything so that we know where, what we are doing. I'm just going to reduce this opacity. Um, so that we can see it, but it's not right in our eyes. Okay, let's go back to the pastel brush. This was under mixer brushes and pastel mixer. The setting is at 150. Let me just quickly check it. Um, probably make it around 100. Okay, that looks better. And this one has to be on the layer that you're actually working with. So I'm going to go into the layer with the long mountain, this one. That is, you see, this layer. And I will start to add a bit of color right here and I'm going to make sure that my color goes in all the way like that okay like that I'm going to go ahead and uncheck the lines that I made and I just want to take a look at what's happening because sometimes it's really important to 
go back and look at things because sometimes you don't see the actual results that you really really want i want this to be a little lesser now and i want this to be a little darker now because i think like the result that i was looking for i don't see it at all so you can go ahead and give it like that and then maybe you know make it like this okay um okay all right now i'm going to go into my smoothing tool see if i can blend it in and of course i can and i have used dry media and graphite perfect you can also use the pastel thing that you used right now but let's use the graphite thing it seems to be working really well i picked up some white from here by the way see there don't do that okay there you go and i'll try to fill it in oh not again <laughs> there's a white space here so that's coming up <laughs> anyway ah uh, all right so let's leave it at that so let's go to the next one here and uh, let's again bring in the dark one that is go to your brush i want my lines here and again go back to this mountain level so i'm going to go ahead and add a bit here and i want this peak to show up so i'm going to go a little bit ahead of this and uh, make it like that and make sure you don't go beyond this over here you can also mask it if you want but i don't want to do all the complicated things of masking and stuff and scare you guys because i want to show that it's easy so it's okay you can also use a clipping mask but then the blending might not come out that great right do you want to check it out let's go try it out okay so undo 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 plus and clipping mask so i'm going to go ahead and give it like that and you see the it's a mixer brush but it's giving really dark pastely uh, thing because you know it was not supposed to be like this right anyway i'm going to go into my smoothing tool and try to ease it in a little bit like that i'm going to add more of the spacely thing and make sure that it's a bit darker i guess i feel like it needs to go like that you know what i mean yeah so let's try to make it like that and and make it like this a little bit like that okay now i'm trying to go and smooth it out and that, that's it i don't want any of these um jittery things over here so i'm going to smooth it out very nicely you really need to do that you don't want this jittery thing hanging around you right okay let's check it out not bad it's coming along um maybe this part is not actually necessary so you can just go ahead and delete it and i think there's a bit here as well oops okay you can use the smoothing as well to smooth things out if you want i think a bit would be nice um darker but i want to smooth it off so that okay here as well smooth it off okay that's good let's uncheck the sketch and check what's happening yeah now you can actually see the top of the sand dune that's perfect i'll uncheck that back again so let's do the last one here so go back here and you can also go into the clipping mask if you want to and then go back to your paste mixer brush or whatever and then let's add this here so this this line you have to follow this line like that basically but there's no hard and fast rule to be honest um i'm just eyeballing it and i'm going to add a bit like that add more if you want to okay now we'll go to smoothing and we're going to add smoothing you can use your fingers by the way i um make sure the settings to use the fingers is turned on it's in your settings um i think it's here somewhere app settings and then if you go to input mm, touch draw with the brush draw with the brush for finger settings and then you should be able to use your fingers as well going to add more because i don't think i made this proper okay sort of seems like it's a bit darker than what i want it to be yeah but it's okay sometimes it's all about not 
being too perfect I guess and then you can make it a bit like that and then give it I'm going to give a bit here like that I want it to blend a little bit go a bit like that otherwise it looks weird I guess okay mm. it's good and now this one so go up to that mountain here plus and clipping mask and let's go ahead and do the same thing okay now go back to the main one here and i'm going to uncheck the sketch now because we don't need it anymore mm -hmm. let's go to the top one plus and clipping mask and now i want to create a lighter version on top click and hold and if you want to add texture this is your chance to do it so make sure you make it a little lighter uh, why can't i see it <laughs> smoothing tone sorry yeah this is not nice so i'll go back and select that color that i have put it all the way at top put it to the right so that it becomes lighter and orange and I want it yellowy so we're going to make it a bit more yellowy I guess too orangey lighter this is the perfect one I'll just tell you the numbers so that you guys don't okay it's 27 77 and 100 you can click and hold and type in the number so make a note of it all right, now let's go into brushes and I'm going to go into canvas brush flat. Uh, you can find it under painting and canvas brush flat. So this has a lot of texture and then we're going to add some, oh, the setting is at 164. You can keep it at that and uh, add some really light. You see really light. I'm just adding a bit of texture here. I'm going to add a bit more. Oops, I'll make it a bit more because I think I need a bit like that okay that looks good you can go ahead and add textures to the top part as well like i'll go here click and clipping mask and you can choose the same color and you don't need this bright orange so just put it up and add a bit of texture i don't know if you can see it but i'm adding a little bit of texture to it so that it looks nicer same thing with um the top part uh, clipping mask and i'm gonna add a bit as add of a okay that's good and now we gonna add some lines to it so let's go to this one here the bigger one here and click on plus and make sure it's a clipping mask that's important and we're gonna go ahead and choose one of the darker reds you can also use brown anything that you want so I had to pull in the blinds because it got too sunny here so let's go into sketching and let's choose the toothy pencil and uh, I'm going to set it up at 40. Everything else is default setting, by the way. I haven't changed anything. And as I know, I have a darker color. So we're going to go ahead and draw the lines. Don't worry too much about being exact. It doesn't matter. These are just lines. You're going to try and distract everyone with the sky. So <laughs> don't yeah, stress out about it. You can use the side of your brush. To give you that thicker lines as you can see see that yeah you can try that as well just gonna skip that by the way that option is not available on everything but only on apple pencil so please don't ask me <laughs> why it's not working on yours you don't have it okay but like i told you you don't need it okay i think we are done with this you can add some shadows in here if you want that's particularly up to you do you want to try it? Why not? Let's try it. I'm going to go ahead and go into my recents because that's where you have all your brushes stored. So I will go ahead and check the pastel mixer and I'm going to add some here. Yeah, why is it so low? Okay. A um, bit over here like that. And then obviously use my smooth sink tool and then make it a bit bigger. Two blend in nicely and then use your fingers if you feel like it's not working and now it's time to add the sky okay let's go back all the way down you have to be all the way down if you don't have a new layer click on the image layer background layer click on plus to create a new layer i'm going to choose a little nice 
bluish blue and you can use your fill tool and fill it up with pixel or vector or whatever it doesn't matter oh that's a bit too dark okay so and make this 184 uh, maybe increase this bit and 82 so let's see yeah that looks good but make it mm, a little brighter no yeah Oh, maybe like that and let's just use our brush why not I'm going to go into Belgian comics and fill it up like that and just color it in and don't worry we're going to be using all of the sorts of colors so this blue is completely okay all right so now click on plus and we're going to start making our clouds so we'll choose the lighter blue that we have there make it more brighter if you want about 99 or so and I will go into painting and let's do canvas brush flat yeah this looks nice and up it up a little bit not so much maybe around 800 or so and we're going to add some light textury cloud right here like that okay and uh, yeah that looks better i guess okay make it a bit here like that and that should be good all right, now we'll choose some gray, light, light gray. Click on a new layer just to preserve everything and um, add a bit here like that. Um, maybe a bit here. And we're going to decrease this. This is too big. So I'm going to add a bit like that. It's too small, maybe about 200, something like that. And add a bit of cloudy clouds here. I'm going to put more over here as well okay and then now we're going to choose white go up another level new layer and this time make it a bit bigger and let's you know what i'm going to go ahead and choose painting and season one should we do season two let's check it out now let's do season one and then yeah that's perfect yeah let's make this cloud like that and like that go a bit over here and make this clouds like this obviously you want near the mountains it needs to be a little bit white because only then your mountains will stand out there you go and you want some to leave some blues in the sky as well obviously that goes without saying and you can go on top of it again and try to get in some gray this time let's make it a little darker and uh oh not too dark let's use the same gray i guess and maybe yeah and then no way go back to that same dark one you had add a bit here and make sure it's there in the gaps how am i doing with the sky too many clouds if you feel that go back to your blue and you can always click and then add a bit of blue here and there or the darker one actually and season has a green blend to it so it doesn't look good let's go back into canvas brush flat and yeah let's make it a bit bigger and try to fill it like that so that the clouds are a little like that you can bring this down any level and create different kind of effects you see what's happening you can also make this into multiply and create different kinds of effects as well i'm just gonna keep it at normal and keep it like this if you feel your sky is still not working out great you know go ahead and edit it or just hide everything <laughs> it doesn't matter just hide everything off and start from scratch you know that's as simple as that i guess that's it and our artwork is ready and now when you're ready to export it all you have to do is click on share publish and export and if you want to look at the time lapse export you can click on that and it's going to actually give you a nice preview of your entire thing that you did thanks for watching this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to support this channel you can always buy me a coffee at coffee.com uh, if you create something do share it with me 
on Instagram, that is at Premium Some Color. I'm also on TikTok as at Premium Some Color, but I basically post for painting videos. If you want to check out more of my painting videos, do visit my Instagram. So I guess I'll see you in the next video then. Bye bye.